Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm uh, showing off the whole brand new home lab with uh, a lot of new gear. I'll explain what everything is and uh, stay tuned. All right, so let's start off at the top. So we have our uh, same switch as before, uh, up interconnecting all the edge devices, access points, uh, desktops, printers, you name it. We have a, a dual LACP, 10 gigabit flag on each side, 10 10 to 20. I have an uplink for another switch, but that's just the regular house stuff. We have our uh, PSN's firewall. So this is running on an R330. Uh, it's doing pretty well. It has uh, 16 gigs of RAM and an Intel E51250, I believe, V3, V5. So it does pretty well with uh, site to site, IPsec, uh, all those kind of uh, routing configurations and uh, IPsec. So uh, yeah, now let's begin to the brand new area. So we have a uh, three node vSAN cluster using vSphere 8. So they are participating in a vSAN uh, topology. We have configured it in vSAN uh, ESA for uh, enhanced storage architecture, the new one. So we have a pool. So kind of like a ZFS pool. We have a pool of storage drive now. So now you don't need to sacrifice a uh, single disk for caching. You can make them all part of a capacity. So it's kind of neat. So mix up Capacity, storage, performance, uh, 20 times better than before. Old, uh, original storage architecture. So it's good about going to the first one. So the first one, uh, these three are identical. So I'll just talk about one of them. Uh, this one has, uh, well, all three have 512 gigs of RAM, DDR4, uh, 26, I think it's 2933, I believe so, uh, megahertz, gigatransfers. Uh, Intel Xeon Gold Scalable uh, 6138s. So we have 224 uh, sockets, so 40 total per server. Uh, we have uh, networking Mellanox 40 gig and 50 gigabit uh, connects at 4. Uh, we have disks. We have these are all 800. 12 gigabit SAS SSDs. This is a single disk. It's a 400 gig SAS SSD, 12 gigabit. It's just for uh, local storage if ever I need it. These do have uh, Intel Boss cards. So we have uh, ESXi on them. So it kind of gives you a better way to install your operating system and redundancy. So there's that. I do like the little bezels. Makes a uh, resource monitor, power usage, consumption, easy, easy, easy to see. Uh, right here, we'll go to the next unit. So this guy right here, he is our archive uh, node. I turn him on once a week and I uh, replicate all my data that I have, backups, files, you name it, and I turn him off. So that way it kind of keeps a, a cold copy, flush warm, if you want to call it. So that gives it that. Uh, these are running a TrueNest scale. So if I want to scale it out, I get a bunch of HBAs and dash shelves. I can actually expand the storage architecture on these guys, so it's kind of neat. And this guy right here, this is our NAS slash SAN. We have uh, 12 10 terabyte drives. It is running uh, TrueNAS scale as well. This is primarily doing uh, SMB, iSCSI, NFS, and S3 storage. So anything I need, this will provide my tier two storage. My tier one storage goes back to falling back to vSAN. So it kind of gives you fast IO, fast response, or access to your VMs with uh, vSAN. So this gives me a tier two storage, gives me a, as well, still a shared topology. So if I need vSphere HA to fail over a cluster, a, fail, a node out of the cluster, we'll still be part of it because tier two, nothing else dedicated to the host on single data stores so it gives you kind of a fault tolerance high availability set up there now we're going to get into the networking so as you guys can see we have two 40 gig arista switches and you'll notice that this one's a little bit different than this one this guy right here has four 10 gig uplinks so you do have to sacrifice your 40 gig here 
to make this uh, enabled, but really with all the poor density I have, I am perfectly fine. So I have my uh, center link fiber coming up to here from the firewall. So the firewall does a demarcation. We have symmetrical gigabit uh, from uh, CenturyLink, Lumen, static IPs and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, here we have that LACP lag going up and uh, all these uplinks here you see, this is going to all the servers. So all the servers here are connected, the top bottom ones and the top ones. So it kind of gives you a uh, see of how everything is wired. Before these uh, switches were in the back, problem was is with all the heat in the back, it is uh, around 100 degrees or 95 degrees back there. So these things were cooking, so I had to rotate them. So now they're on the front. So as you guys can see, I used some uh, QSFP with uh, MPO MPT cables. I have some breakout cables, and I've been testing different uh, technologies of trying, you know, trying things out. Got tons of SF QSFP, so it's fun to play around with it. So here we have our uh, eight lag. It's a big trunk, and using M lag, these two switches are uh, it's an 80 gig bond. So that way there's some communication going. My next project is to split up all the uh, do it kind of like a VPC, but not a VPC because the rest of it is different. But we're gonna split up each of the uplinks. So one port will go here, the second one will go to the bottom. So it kind of gives you a HA fault tolerance from the core perspective. Uh, these switches are very power efficient. Uh, right now it's around 87 watts for the top one. The bottom one is around 72 watts, and they're very quiet. You can actually control the fans using override commands and I've never seen the CPU go higher than probably 35 Celsius. Below we have our uh, management switch for all the IDRAX, uh, PDUs, UPS, uh, you name it. So, uh, so we have our uh, old lab here, you guys remember from previous videos. So this guy is going to be a full lab so you guys will see a lot of new content videos, a lot of uh, how to's walkthroughs and actually now with the brand new lab being stood up this will let me build everything and show you guys how to do stuff and I don't have to worry about resource limitations trying to take stuff off production so there's a true prod and lab setup so everything is micro segmented this is its own NSX domain everything is all in its own fault domain so you don't have to worry about uh, data, data separation it's kind of nice so this will be its own NSX environment as well, Geneve, Overlay, uh, it's on BGB Pierce to the core, so it will segment stuff off, and uh, yeah. So now let's go to the back. So now here we are in the back, it's uh, probably a little bit more noisy. You can see we have our uplinks to uh, demarcation, we have our fiber for us, the R330 for PFSense. And you guys can see there is the 50 gigabit uh, Mellanox per each server. So they all have this one. This one has it on this side because we do have a uh, Tesla M60 GPU in here for uh, VGPU for Horizon. So this is kind of like my GPU node. So kind of gives you that. Uh, below here is the archive node. Uh, kind of have to get a filler for that, but it's just empty for now. So it gives you a uh, back in the perspective of how things are connected here is the nash slash sand this guy right here has uh, data separations you guys can see that he has more uplinks so these top ones are for iSCSI these bottom ones are for file level so SMB NFS and all that kind of stuff so that way I know that iSCSI and uh, regular data separated so and there's the other cluster there's a lot of cables so you kind of see that so and there's cooling so this does exhaust to uh, the garage so it goes out there the blower so it keeps it nice and cool it's always pulling so it's a uh, pretty good uh, air suction so it's always nice so yeah let's go back to the front so yeah uh, YouTube this is uh, an update for the new lab a lot of things have been happening uh, behind the scenes you guys probably have seen some posts but this is the new and 
I wouldn't say it's a lab anymore. I think it's more like a data center, but it's very nice. VCN8, vSphere 8, all that new, new releases has been amazing. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. You guys will see more content coming out. And uh, subscribe, like, share the videos, and uh, see you guys soon.